Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So as you guys can see, we're going to be doing the shells. I wanted to get a little bit deeper into the month of March and see what is unfolding um, with a deeper, uh, getting deeper into it is what I was going to say. Sorry you guys, I am a bit slow. It's been an extremely long day. It is uh, 4.25 in the a.m., so bear with me. Right after the shell reading, we're going to get into your tarot and then spirits a message, direct message for you Sagittarians, okay? All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Spirit, what are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, here we go. All right, Sagittarius. Okay, so what they're showing me here is I have a, a set of three, and three is a very powerful number, um, very strong. Uh, what they're showing me is almost like you guys are going to be experiencing, and that's if you're not already experiencing like Feeling that the universe or that God or higher spirit is pulling you towards different directions. I feel very strongly here. Um, it's almost like what's coming to mind is the two, wo the two wolves uh, within us, right? The good and the bad. The wanting to go do good by those around us and what would be misconstrued as bad because we're wanting to uh, go a different path. So for some of you guys, it could be almost like a feeling of a lot of people having like a lot of high expectations or uh, this could be you Sagittarius taking on a lot of responsibilities or responsibilities of other people. Um, I feel very heavily like opinions is something that in the past you have either gone against your intuition to prove a point to those that wanted or came off as wanting to implement their ideas on you or their opinions about the life you should be living, leading, that type of energy. And it's almost like there is a contrast here that I am seeing. It's almost like, like a part of you wants the structure, the stability, wants a different life is what they're telling me. And there is another side to you that needs and craves freedom, that needs and craves new experiences. Now, what they're telling you here is you've been confusing this. You've been confusing that you have to make a choice. You've been confusing uh, either rebelling against that, hindering your progress, or wanting to abide by others' opinions, all the while suppressing what you really genuinely want to do. Um, and this could be in relationships, this could be in careers, uh, this could be your profession. If you often find yourself jumping from one job to another and not really feeling fulfilled or not being like feeling uh, passionate about what you're doing, it's almost as if there is a lot of like there is a lot of scattered energy. And what they're telling you is you're kind of going against the tide. You're going against your nature, Sagittarius. So what they're telling me here is what I'm seeing is a boat. And in that boat, you're going down a stream. And there is a lot of people looking at you from a distance and it's almost like you purposely or intensely try to go against the waters to avoid certain confrontations, to avoid certain conversations, to avoid 
speaking your truth. Now, for some of you guys, this could represent in regards to relationships. If you've been in a relationship that it is just not fulfilling you or is just not working out, it's like you're avoiding something. You're either avoiding the the unpleasant conversation about I'm I'm not happy anymore or I'm not I don't want to be here anymore or I want my freedom or this is not working out. It's like you're avoiding all of this because you want if things don't go the way you're expecting or what you're wanting, you have something to fall back on. And what Spirit is telling you is you, under, you must understand that in this path that we call life, those that we choose to bring along will experience certain experiences in our lives with us. But ultimately, It is not your decision to take someone else's choice away from them. So what I mean by that is you need to be honest with others, Sagittarius, and you need to be honest with yourself. Now, this could be vice versa. This It is a general reading. It could represent people around you are not being honest. And they're leading you on this path of expectancy or a feeling that something's going to give or that this relationship is going to materialize or it, there's going to be some type of commitment. And what they're telling you is if there is a feeling that they're stringing you along, you need to, you need to pay attention to that. Because like I said, they were showing me this boat and it's like you're going against the ties of the ocean or the ties against the, the river. And what they're telling you is sometimes there is a need to release what we most fear. We try, we have a tendency of holding on to it because we're scared of losing it or because we're scared that we're not going to have anything else to fall on. Um, this could be hanging on to relationships that are not working out. Uh, this could mean uh, friendships, friendships that you've outgrown or that are no longer to your level. And you still keep either trying to forge those connections or force those interactions out of fear. And there's fear connected to uncertainty. Like you don't know what's going to happen. And this is like my safe haven or this is where I'm comfortable. And what they're telling you is you'll get quack, uh, quacker. <laughs> you'll get quicker to your destination by not going against the tide, by just letting go and surrendering to the process. And again, if there is a situation that you're avoiding or trying not to um, deal with, it's best you deal with it now than later on things worsening. Having to make that choice regardless and things getting nasty. And this could be people you're dealing with. This could be the workplace. This could be your superiors, as an example. If they have a tendency of over-relying on you and you're just not speaking up, it's going to get to the point where you're going to have a bad day. You're going to flip out. And it could turn into either something nasty like arguing or physical. And you can prevent all of this. So there is a need for you to stop resisting something that you're trying to avoid. Now, they're also saying you've been thinking you have to make a choice between suppressing something and embracing something, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whatever conception there is behind good or bad. And what Spirit is telling you is by you rejecting one or the other, you are rejecting your true nature. And you can bring balance to that as an example. For those of you guys that have a tendency of getting into relationships and once it becomes a bit stagnant or once it becomes a bit ordinary, everyday type of mundane and you lose interest, um, what they're saying here is it, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. You don't have to be in a relationship and then it gets stale or it gets stagnant and you jump or hop from one relationship to the other, um, 
what you really need to do is pay attention to the partners that you're either attracting or that you're giving yourself to. Because you may not, um, till this day, you may not have met a person that is that of your nature. And it doesn't mean that you're not going to, like, what I'm hearing is, what I'm hearing is this. For those of you guys that have commitment issues or feel like you could never settle down, it just means that you haven't found the person that is going to want to inspire you to want or desire roots, grounding, foundation. Do you see what I'm saying? And if you feel that way, do not try to force yourself into feeling that in a relationship just because the relationship is there. Because you're going to be left feeling unfulfilled. You're going to be tempted to either step out of the relationship or continue jumping from one relationship to another. Now, this could be vice versa. This could be you dealing with these types of people that have a tendency of stepping out of their relationship or giving you a lot of instability. And what they're telling you is it doesn't mean that you don't have that within you. It just means you haven't met the person that will embrace the need for you to have freedom, that will give you your space, that perhaps they on the other end need that type of freedom as well. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you is don't force connections that are just not meant to be. You need to break that cycle and end that behavior because it's almost like you go into this spiral, um, this spiral snowball effect type of energy where it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And instead of coming clean and being like, you know what, I'm unhappy here. Or you know what, at work, I'm tired of picking up after everyone's slack. Or I'm tired of being taken for granted at work. Like you guys need to either, um, you know, you need to ask for a raise. You need to ask for assistance if they are solely depending on you to pick up, let's say, two, three other people's jobs. Do you see what I'm saying? It's about speaking your truth, but with honesty. And you'll start to see things unfold in a much more better balanced way. All right. That was a long message, you guys. Okay, I think this is going to be the longest video. Let's see what Spirit's message is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2021. What is Sagittarius' message here for the month of March 2021? Spirit guides, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have the King of Wands. This is your energy, Aries. This is you standing your ground. This is you being more confident in yourself. This is, for a lot of you guys, I feel that the past year, year and a half, it could progress longer than that, uh, up to two years. They're telling me that there is something within your experiences that has either shaken you or has questioning or has you questioning your self worth and what you deserve. And what spirit is telling you here is you need to be more confident in yourself. You need to have more trust in yourself, more faith in yourself. If there's a type of lifestyle that you're living or have been living up till now, and it's not working out for you, it doesn't matter the age. It doesn't matter where in life you are. So long as you make the sole decision to change, if you're not happy where you're at, what is it that you're doing to change that outcome? What is it that you're, are you walking towards some type of goal? Are you walking towards some type of focus, some type of wanting to make something happen? Or are you just in la la land living day by day? Because I'll tell you what, living without purpose will have you feeling like you're in, you're living, you're confused, you don't know where, what to do with your life. And what Spirit is telling you here is they keep showing me this boat and it's almost like it's a metaphor for you are the one that decides what direction that boat goes to. And if you don't set goals or learn to start setting goals, learn to start uh, thinking about the future and the longevity of things, you're going to be like a boat without without it sailing. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like you're going to crash and burn. You know what I'm saying? If there's a boat, 
in the ocean with no one in it, no one steering it, it's gonna crash sooner than later. Now, they keep telling me that, so again, be careful for those of you guys that have a tendency of either drinking, hopefully not, and driving, um, be careful, okay? Because they are, they are saying you can't keep living a life with no direction. And I know it's easier said than done. Sometimes, you know, humans have a tendency of saying, well, I have bills. I have responsibilities. I have to just live day by day. I can't sit there and want to create goals or things that I want to go walk or work towards uh, because I can't think of the future. I have to live in the now. And I get that. But if you're not focused on something, you're going to go about life with scattered energy, not knowing exactly what you want. You will continuously keep dealing with people that have no direction and end up with people that don't want what's best for you because they themselves are confused. All right. Your next card here is the Hermit. Yeah, a lot of introspection. Pay attention, Sagittarius, to your guides. They're guiding you. Spirits are around you. They're trying to make you or guide you to having breakthroughs in your life. It's time for you to stop saying, why am I so unlucky? Why am I always experiencing difficulties? Truth of the matter is, out of all the signs, Sagittarius are one of the most luckiest signs. And when I say that, I don't mean you guys don't experience a lot of difficulties in life. Absolutely, you do. You're one of the signs that constantly does that. But why? Because you guys have a tendency of being very spontaneous in your approach to experiencing new experiences that you throw yourselves kind of blindly to certain things. And you don't learn from that until you fall on your ass, right? Um, but what they are saying here is, you, I mean, your planet, your ruling planet is Jupiter. And Jupiter is the, the most easiest sign, the blessings, uh, the loving parent, you know what I mean? Like the overgiving. So you guys do are extremely lucky. It's just that you have to get to a point in life where you mature, where you grow up, where you stop trying your luck, where you stop uh, running off of good luck, basically. I hope that makes sense. All right, your next card here is the strength card. Yeah, so I see you guys. I feel that there's a lot of you guys that are thinking or internalizing about life, about, like I said, the future, about where you want to be, about where you're going, um, about taming certain habits, certain behaviors of yourself. You may be dealing with a Virgo. You may be dealing with a Leo uh, type of energy here. Now you have the five of cups. I feel that you guys are, again, like I said, resisting or refusing to deal with the situation where you know that you've tried the best you can to make this work or to, it, it's gotten to the point where, it's gotten to the point where you've put a lot of effort into the situation. But with the Five of Cups, you're refusing. You're not wanting to see clearly. You're not wanting to deal with this situation. Like I said, for some of you guys, it could be romance. It could be a committed relationship. For others of you, it could be the workplace. Um, dealing with family dynamics or with family members that, uh, like I said, they're trying to guide you. And this is a message that's been very uh, occurring for you guys. Uh, like people are... People that genuinely love you and care for you are trying to give you the best advice possible and you take it kind of personal. And what they're telling you here, Sagittarius, there's a need to either grow up. For others of you, those of you guys that have children, it could be a situation where you're constantly being the one that has to stick your, you know, your head out or step up getting your children out of like the shithole or getting them out of situations that they purposely put themselves in and what they're telling you it's time for them to grow up you got to pay attention to the things that are unfolding if it's a something that is reoccurring and they constantly keep coming to you and uh you know hey dad or hey mom you know i 
I got myself into this accident and I don't know what to do. I need help or I need financial assistance, et cetera, et cetera. It's like, when do you get to the point by over doing for them, you're not teaching them to be strong. You're not teaching them to be de- independent. So what they're telling you here is you got to stop doing what you have a tendency of overdoing if you want to overturn or see things very differently um, or to start to see progress and expansion. If you look at these cards, it's, it's, it's about a lot of internalizing, a lot of like stillness. The strength card is stillness. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like there's no movement. And what Spirit is telling you here, your energy, King of Wands, is about taking action. So get yourself out of situations that are creating a lot of stillness or a lot of stagnation. And you're the only one that can get yourself out of those situations, either by speaking up, by being honest with yourself or being honest with others around you or standing your ground and being confident in what you say when you express it to people. The Empress card. You're getting to a point, you're going towards crossroads, Sagittarius, and I feel that it is up to you. Basically, what they're telling me, it is up to you, the happiness that you experience moving forward or the stagnation and sadness or feeling unfulfilled, feeling like you're a lost soul. It is up to you. And it's going to have a direct effect based on the decisions that you make from now all the way to the end of this year. It's like there is a, a possibility here. There is, Spirit is telling you, there is major transformation that is coming to you where you literally are going to, are capable of turning your life around or you continue on this path of difficulties, stagnation, and confusion. It comes basically down to you and the decisions you make. For some of you guys, this could be love coming towards you. That's if you're not already dealing with a person uh, that could, Open your mind up. That could inspire the creative side to you. That can inspire or feed your soul is what they're telling me. So pay attention to that, Sagittarius. All right, my lovelies. So let's get to your direct message from Spirit. Sorry if I made this video extremely long. These are just messages that are coming through and I can't really shut them out. So, okay, there we go. Thank you, Spirit. And your message here, wow, Sagittarius, you have the star card. This is clarity. This is spirituality. This is genuine perfection in abundance and timing. Fulfillment, potential. Do you see what I'm saying? And this is exactly what the Empress is bringing to you. So for some of you guys, it could be a person that's coming into your life that is going to transform it or change it or shake things up in you that is going to feed your soul is what they keep saying. So this could be a soulmate connection. This could be an individual that comes into your life that is going to inspire you. Perhaps they're very inspiring people. Uh, perhaps they have a lot of things going on in their life and it's almost like they're going to literally shock you back into life <laughs> or into alignment is what they're telling me but it's going to feel like an excess of like a recharge uh a spark it, it's like for some of you guys you've lost the spark of life or for life and this energy that's coming in with the empress energy this is a, a powerful energy this is a person that is full of love this is a person that is very stable. This is a person that is very confident. This is a person that may be on their, like they've found their purpose in life. And with the star card here in number 16, this is all to do with, you know, being inspired. This is about seeing things clearly. This is about perfection and timing, abundance and, you know, fullness, potential here. So again, beautiful, these are hard messages, but I feel that it's like, it's beautiful because what they're telling you is you're going through a transition. Whether you continue on the path that you've been 
the choice is always yours. Whether you start taking these new opportunities or changes that start to pre present themselves in your life and you take those opportunities that are going to lead you to a different path that is more fulfilling, that has more potential, that has more growth and expansion and you know experiences that you've never experienced before, the decision ultimately lies on you. Beautiful, beautiful reading, Sagittarius. I hope you guys enjoyed and like, share, comment if you guys like these videos and we'll see each other soon. Bye.